Hello everyone, welcome to another Python tutorial series, and in this video, I'm going to talk about the Yersina engine, 3D Python game engine, and this is tutorial number 16, Animate to Move and Transform. Now there are some basic parameters of an entity in the Yersina engine, such as position, scale, color, and rotation, and we can also change the values of these parameters after an entity is created. We can also animate these changes to move or transform an entity, and this is what I'm going to talk about in this video. So first, let's have our blank uh, Python file, and let's import the Yersina module, and then create our first entity. Now to import the module, we could type in from Yersina, import star, and I'm going to set up my basic app, app.run. Now let's create our entity. So e1 is equal to an entity. We're going to set the model equal to the quad, and the position equal to negative 4, 2. And so this is the position on the x, y axis. In this case, I'm going to set the position negative 4 on the x axis and positive 2 in the y axis. And now I'm going to animate uh, this entity to a new position. Now to animate it, I will have the entity here. So e1 dot animate x. So I'm going to animate the x, um, x value of the e1 entity to 4, and set the duration equal to 1. So what this first parameter represents is the x position where I want to move the entity to. So in this case, e1, this entity starts at position negative 4 on the x-axis, and here I want to animate um, e1 to positive 4 on the x-axis. So we, what we'll hopefully see is that this entity moves from negative 1, or negative 4, to positive 4, and the duration is equal to one second, meaning that this change takes place in one second. So if I save and run this, we saw that this square entity started here, negative four, to positive four right here. And the time was one second. And we can also make the animation loop by adding another parameter, which is loop is equal to true. So if I save and run this, here you notice that the animation is running over and over again, which it is. So now let's create our second entity and make it change colors. I'm going to have E2 is equal to an entity, so the model equal to a circle instead. Uh, so the position equal to negative 4 on the x, two on the, negative 2 on the y. Set the color equal to green, and set it to green, I'll change the color, is equal to color.green. Now I'll write e2.animate, animate, instead of animate x, animate color, and the color I want it, I want to animate to is color.red, color.red. And again, we'll set a duration parameter equal to one second and set the loop equal to true. So let's see this. Now we see in the bottom left, we have a circle. It starts out as green, and then in one second, it changes from green to red. Now let's create a third entity to see how we can animate the scale change. So E3 is equal to an entity. Model is equal to a cube. Set the color equal to color.orange. And now e3.animate. Animate scale 3. Duration is equal to 2. And loop is equal to true. So here we are scaling the size of the cube by 3. Instead of having the duration equal to 1 second, I'm setting it equal to 2 seconds. And again, we want to loop it. Okay, so here you saw our original cube, and over the course of two seconds, it is scaling by a factor of three. And you notice all three animations are looping. Great. Now, the animation of one entity does not have to be just one parameter. We can use entity three to show how we can animate the scale and color at the same time. So e3 dot animate color color.yellow 
duration is equal to two, loop is equal to true. So here I'm animating this E3 entity with both the scale and the color. Let's see this in action. And you saw, so originally it's orange, then it changes to yellow. And at the same time, the scale is increasing, or the size is increasing. So finally, let's create our fourth entity. So E4 is equal to an entity entity set the model equal to quad set the position equal to positive 4 on the x negative 2 on the y axis set the color equal to color dot cyan and set the texture equal to a brick texture now e4 dot animate rotation Z so I'm animating um, I'm rotating the E4 entity around the Z axis 45 the duration is equal to 1 second loop is equal to true and I'm going to add another parameter which is delay is 2 so let's go through this one by one so this 45 is the degree of the uh, quad and so it rotates 45 degrees for each loop. Here we add a delay parameter and we set it equal to two. And this means that the time interval between the two loops is two seconds. And if we don't have it or uh, set the value at zero, that just means that there's no time interval between two consecutive loops. So let's see this. There you go. So we have on the bottom right, we have our um, E4, so E4 entity. The texture was a brick. Remember, we added a brick texture, so that's why it looks kind of like a wall. And every two seconds, which is the delay, the uh, animation loops again. And see here, it animates or it rotates around the z axis uh, 45 degrees every single loop. So, this is the end of this video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time.